ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here tonight in Ann Arbor, of all places. <laughs> what kind of joint is this? Room service, could you send up a larger room, please? <laughs> you know, last night, last night, I had this beautiful woman knocking on my hotel door. Finally, I had to get up out of bed so I could let her out. <laughs> And he says to me, you're in terrible shape. You don't have much longer to live. I said, that's horrible, doctor. I want a second opinion. He says, all right, you're ugly too. <laughs> so dig, folks. I'm Jewish. Ray Charles is Jewish. Count Basie is Jewish. Eddie Cantor is goyish. <laughs> B'nai B'rith is goyish. Hadassah is Jewish. If you live in New York, you're Jewish, even if you're goyish. If you live here in Ann Arbor, what do you think? <laughs> even if you're Jewish. <laughs> Zingerman's is goyish. <laughs> Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> Titties are Jewish. Mouths are Jewish. Cocks and bulls are goyish. And underwear is goyish. <laughs> but you, Eleonora, you have not lost your birthright. You must dance the roles of great passion. The Queen of Sheba. Cleopatra, the queen of Egypt, the murderous Hagar, wailing in the desert, the noble Atala. I myself see you in your native land as Pocahontas, but I see myself as Odette, as Giselle. My dear, you would be a black face in a snowbank. Janie Bell, who is a character that I performed who is based upon my grandmother, who came from the South, from Virginia, actually, and moved to Flushing, and then moved to Harlem. And I found Richard, Richard Hershey, and he was sweet on me. Janie died when my father was six of tuberculosis, and I never met her. Especially Friday after I broke up with my so ex, Stelia. My dudesses, they're my four best girlfriends. Wait, wait, I'll show you a picture. Okay, here they are. Okay. Now this here is Daphne. We have D, and D is based on me when I was 16 years old and kind of a hair girl and hanging out with a lot of disco divas and going to clubs. And um, the group that I hung out with were Greek Americans, first generation Greek Americans, and they always told me, hey D, you look Greek, you act Greek. So at that point in time, I was like, all right, I am Greek. So, mid-afternoon rolls around. And over the loudspeaker I hear, Butch in the kitchen, will you please come to see your social worker ex? Well, just as I realized what I said, social worker ex's face lit up with the biggest you qualify smile. And we were off and running through that food stamp office. She was printing my thumbs. She was Xeroxing my face. Now, Butch in the Kitchen has a period of institutionalization. We're not sure which kind of institution she's in. Is it the food stamp office or the mental institution? You don't think Jewish and black are the same? Right over here. No. 
I look out the window and I see Why not? What's the difference? It's Jewish, it's Jewish, it's black and black. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Jewish. I'm not a, hello, I'm not a racist. No, no. Well, my mother is Jewish, I'm Jewish. Yeah, but my father is black, so I'm black. You vote according to your mother. Well, look, 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 what's your name? Sylvia. Sylvia. Sylvia, I'm Dewdrop Lady. Listen, I gotta tell you something. My mother, she's Jewish. I was bat mitzvahed, and my father... Bat mitzvahed. I was bat mitzvahed. Bat mitzvahed. Is bat mitzvahed a boy? Bat is a but bat is for girl, too. Yeah, bat. I said bat. I said bat. Yeah. Okay. And do you know anything? You do know. I know a little Yiddish. You speak Yiddish? I speak a little Yiddish. Hebrew, I know nothing, but my father, my father, he's black. 